advantage of what is a three-inch edge in reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Hill of River Arena in Glendale, Arizona for UFC 263, Adesanya versus Vittori 2. And now, this bout is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Eight wins, no losses, one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds and one half pounds. Fighting at the Grand Rapid Michigan, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 14 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 3 and 1 half inches tall. Weighing in at 204 and 1 half pounds. Fighting at a Cope Bridge, Scotland, Paul Bergeron. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Al Guiney. Al Guiney, third man in the octagon for this one, the lovely Luciana Andrade. Getting us started for round one of a possible three here in the UFC's right, lightweight we division. I will tell you, Jabal Hill is the minus 285 favorite. Paul Craig, despite what you saw graphically, is the plus 220 underdog tonight. It is Jamal Hill out of the southpaw stance in black, now goes orthodox. Paul Craig is in the blue with rainbow lettering for Pride Month. In many ways, this is the classic striker versus grappler matchup, but Jamal Hill is good on the ground as well. You would just think that Paul Craig perhaps has an advantage there, but you would also think that Jamal Hill has a good advantage in the stand-up. Hill will be quick to tell you his first martial art was jujitsu, but I think you set up this matchup quite well. Front kick from Craig, who has improved his striking exponentially since he signed with the UFC. There's the clinch. Tries to drag him down to pull guard. Yeah, he'll, he'll have no problem with that. He'll do this yes. all day. And super effective, particularly how he's got that right arm tied up with the overhook. But... Look how Jamal has kind of stepped. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. That right arm's in a Ooh. real bad situation. He's torquing on it. Oh, I think he's all right. You think he's all right? No, oh. he's stepped over. Oh. oh. Jamal's kind of out of it now, That's though. He can pull it out. Yeah, now he's, he's fine. Good. He's good, but he's back in the guard. Full guard. And Man, again, one of those sneaky tightened little up submissions. overhook. He, Paul is so good with that overhook. He's got it again. And he's going to go for it. Yeah, he's, oh, got the he's, got the he's got it. He's got it. That's a wrap. Oh, oh my um, goodness. Jamal's out. Is he out? Oh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, it looks like maybe His arm's broken. a dislocation. Or? Yeah, that's definitely broken. It's dislocated. Oh, it's sure. flopping around. It's completely oh, broken. My oh, my God. Look at his arm just flopping around. And that is crazy. Al Gaini is going to stop the fight. Just stop it. Just stop it. Craig oh my finishes God. Jamal Hill oh my in God. round one. That is so nasty. Oh the way that man. thing was flopping around like a rubber arm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that should have been stopped way before that. I'm sorry. Yes. I know Jamal Hill. That you speak to his toughness. My goodness. Right. But when you're when the ref sees yeah. Yeah. that thing dangling around and flopping all over the place, I think it's time to stop the fight. There could be all kinds of damage. Oh, everything's, everything's torn now. in there. Wow, Paul so Craig. I hate to see that. And this is what we said about Paul Craig. He is so nasty on the ground. He's so good off of his back. How rare is it when you see a guy pull guard like that and and just be super threatening from the very beginning? Yeah, I mean that. 
He is so good on the ground. It's so insane. good off his back. I mean, just and phenomenal. And sneaky, right? It's yes. not, he doesn't come at it with just, oh, I'm going to throw up these trying. He set these things up beautifully and unorthodox. Yeah, it's just one submission. To the, that arm is toast. Nice to see the sportsmanship there after the fact. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff Bold Character since 1872. Paul, if oh. you got a weak stomach, may want to turn away. Oh, I don't want to call it, but I will. I'll talk it. Through. Listen, it's already, there it is. He locks it in. That's already done. That's locked in. It's it's gone right there. Then Paul Craig twists it about four different ways. He looks at the referee, by the way, who should have stopped the fight at that juncture. Yeah, he tried to. Paul Craig tried to say, hey, look, it's it's broken. It's dislocated. I don't want to have to land these elbows. And it looks like Jamal Hill is tapping, but that's just because he has no control over that arm anymore. So the unbeaten streak is extended by Paul Craig. And... This is an interesting challenge for a lot of these guys in the light heavyweight division. This is a guy who has told us in the past, I learned to strike in the UFC. Certainly didn't learn his jiu-jitsu craft in the UFC. A monumental win for Scotland's Paul Craig. Ooh. As he disposes of Jamal Hill properly tonight. All right, the official decision. Is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate can save you money on your monthly mortgage payment. Visit rate.com to get started. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Al Dine is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Paul Bay.